Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, we should be good now. Uh, so hi. I think we can start right now. Um, so it it be about uh, <laughs> practical SEO. <laughs> so search engine optimizations, optimizations for faceted searches. Um, and uh, first, a li little forward about uh, about me and and uh, the talk. Uh, so I'm the tech lead at WebStands. Uh, we are um, a small web agency uh, based in Belgium. We mostly do mid-sized projects. Just to give you a little perspective on on uh, on, uh, on the, the 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 projects that 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 we do and where we we ac acquired the the experience. Uh, I'm not a uh, SEO guru, so <laughs> don't don't expect me to to go and rant on SEO and all that. I'm I'm mostly a, a technical guy, so yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, and the the background from for for this talk is uh, that that we have implemented um, those optimizations for a couple of websites. And um, it was quite interesting, and and yeah, I, I felt it could be um, it could be a nice way to 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 give back and and just uh, have a nice conversation <laughs> after afterwards. Um, so first, why would you uh, um, optimize a fasted search? Because it wasn't obvious to me at first. Um, so the the the, the case is. Um, that that you have a, a website with a big catalog, so an e-commerce website or something with uh, with lo loads of documentations, and if you invest a lot of the time, a, a lot of time to to uh, optimize the the search for your users, you probably want your for your users to to land right on the on the search. Um, that makes sense. So you you want to optimize it for the search engines. Um, also, if you already invested in your in your search, maybe you don't want to to make the the, the to do the work of uh, creating pages just for SEO, um, like creating pages for your taxonomy terms, um, your your nodes, and just linking back to your uh, to your search. So just. Um, put all your eggs in the same basket and directly optimize your your search. Um, so yeah, th that's uh, that's the, <laughs> the gist of it. But it's, it's the the facet module was not designed to do that because you have no follow uh, attributes on each links. So yeah, let's see how we can uh, go about that. Um, our goals uh, would be to have uh, some specific pages, uh, some specific facets pages that, that would be uh, optimized. So optimi optimized with meta tags and optimized with uh, some text um, the, that would be sp specifically designed to be uh, indexed by uh, search engines. Uh, you probably also want to to have a nice hierarchy because <laughs> I'm, I'm not a, C a SEO guru, but uh, search engines seems to like that, and um, and that that's what we will try to do. And also, you want to only index to those pages because otherwise, uh, yeah, if you in index all all facets, you you get into all kind of problems. Um, be because yeah, it's way too much pages, and that's you. You probably want to only index the your main categories, uh, your main categories. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, for the the meta tags and the text, we are going to to inject uh, some um, some meta tags and uh, some text from the the reference entity. Uh, from the facets, so it's probably taxonomy terms or nodes that that you use to to classify your uh, your indexed items in your in your search. Um, for the hierarchy, we are go we are going to use a breadcrumb and um, to optimize your URLs to to, to make it more um, discoverable by by Google the the hierarchy. 
And then um, we are going to only make uh, crawlable and indexable the, the specific facets by using a sitemap and uh, a robots.txt uh, file. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the, the overview. Uh, the first steps are pretty easy. <laughs> uh, the, um, the, f the first one is ge getting the, the URL optimized. Uh, that's easily done by using the, the facets pretty pass module. Um, it provides an alternative encoder for your facets. So in place of the query strings, you will have a nice path and that, that, we that will help with the hierarchy and also if you make the, the URLs more user friendly, uh, it's, a, it's a nice rule of thumb that, that well, Search Engine will, will like that. So, yeah, that's a, a nice quick win. Um, for transiting the base path, that's, um, the, there is a module for that. You, you, you can't tra translate the, the catalog part uh, from, from the URL without this. Um, that's actually a module I discovered while, while uh, doing this, uh, those slides. So yeah, use it uh, at your own risk, but it's nice to, to know that it exists. Uh, next, the, the breadcrumb. Well, that's e also pretty easy because for the, fa the facet module already provides an option to do that, uh, but it, do it doesn't support AJAX uh, out of the box, and also it will uh, it will add all the, sele the selected facets in your breadcrumb, and depending on your strategy, that that's maybe something that you don't want. So yeah, th th there is a, a quick uh, a, a quick explanation on or on how you you would go to do that uh, with, with custom code. I didn't know how to contribute it. So if you if you want the code or if you want me to contribute it, just hit me up hit me up right after and and, and we'll see. But it's doable. We did it. Um, and yeah, if you the, the the custom code is not needed if you if you're okay with having the uh, a breadcrumb uh, working without AJAX, but that's something we we want pretty much all of the time for us. Next, uh, for the the text that will be displayed when you s uh, select your your main fa fa face set, well. Um, as we want to use uh, AJAX, uh, we, we, we piggybacked on the facet summary module and uh, created a, a processor to load the, the entity and uh, display it through a view mode on the, in, the, in the facet summary items. So that, that's pretty nice and allows you to, like, to, to have the, the, the title of the page that, that will change and some, some text, uh, it will make it, well, real nice for search engines. Um, if you don't want Ajax, well, you have uh, a, mo a module. That, that's probably the, the, the better option if you don't want Ajax uh, because, yeah, the, the, the patch is not, not really mature and you have more options with the, with the, with the module. Then for the tags, well, that's the same strategy, really. Uh, we are going to load the tags from the, the reference entity. Um, so that's easily done through uh, a hook. This time, <laughs> I, I'll show the code right after because it's really small and uh, it's quite easy. Um, but the you could also use the meta tag views um, module. We it it looked like like it, it was uh, way more involved than just doing it through code. So we we, nev we never did it, but still it's an option. Uh, the 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 main point that you don't want to leave out is well the canonical uh, URL, uh, you should set it to the cu current page URL, otherwise it's, uh, it will be the, the canonical URL from, from your taxonomy term. Uh, well, it's pretty dumb, but you, ha you have to think about that. And yeah, that's it. No for the code, don't even try to read it. <laughs> the, the, it will be there will be a link to the presentation uh, uh, after and you, you, you will be able to, to copy past it and modify it also. Um, no for the sitemap. So as I said earlier, you have uh, nofollow attributes on the facet links. So it means that it won't be crawled by Google. 
well, or any search engine, really. Uh, so you have to, to, to make the links discoverable to another mean. And for us, it seemed that the easiest way to do that was through uh, a, a sitemap. So you will find uh, bi behind this issue a patch with a processor to add the, um, the, the facet links in the, in, in, a s in the sitemap. Uh, so that's yeah, that's quite uh, experimental, but it works. Um, it's probably also good to, in an ideal world, to remove the nofollow uh, attributes on the links that you want to index, because otherwise, it's it well, it's it's really a, a com com confusing message for for the search engine to have a nofollow on one link and then have it in the sitemap, but. Yeah, it was good enough for us, and our local uh, SEO guru didn't didn't mind. So, uh, yeah, it was good enough. And well, SEO it's always an optimization. You, you can al always go, um, you can always go better. So yeah, that's probably something that should be fixed, like. Um, in contrib, like I <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you, you should work on it. Um, so yeah, that's it for the sitemap. Oh, the, the, that's also interesting. That's how we will uh, handle the alternate links. So we will uh, also have in the sitemap for each of your language the, the, the facet links in that language. So that's nice. The next step is the robots.txt uh, file uh, if well it's a it's a file that w that the search engine will check to to see uh, how it should crawl your your website so theoretically it should be enough to have the nofollow on the links but our local seo guru <laughs> wanted to, uh, w wanted us to do that and it's quite easy so here it is uh, you should simply disallow the facets that you don't want in indexed uh, so just put the, the URL with the with uh, the facet in the identifier specific for the, the facets that you don't want indexed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now for the general concerns, the, the dumb things that you uh, you should have on your on your checklist, but uh, but that, that you could forget. Oh uh, well. First. If you use your your facets as um, as the the SEO pages, that that means you you probably don't want to have pages for the the in entities that you that you use for classifying your your content. So don't forget to 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 to, to make them um, blocked from from access with the Rebitol module. So that, that that's a, that's a, a real blunder. Um, and yeah, don't forget about it. And then another thing that, that you should, should think about uh, at first when you start wor working uh, on that is, well, use a view page and no, not view block. It won't work. Well, when, you <laughs> when you will start to, to, to check on how to optimize your, your, your view, yeah, yeah, well, it won't work. Um, pretty much every, every mo module we, we, we check today, well, it works with view, views page. And that's it. Ooh, I, sp uh, <laughs> I was really fast because I, <laughs> I was very stressed, so sorry. <laughs> uh, for the conclusion, well, as you saw, the, there is still very, very much uh, work to do in, in Contrib, but, um, well, personally, I think it's a, it's a really nice way to, to, to make your, your website in indexable, so uh, we should probably work on it. Uh, I link the, the issues and uh, there are uh, probably a bit more th that, that you can find. So th this presentation was also a way to, <laughs> to, to advocate for, for, this, um, for this way of in, in, I to index your websites and create a conversation. So we'll see what it will uh, lead to. We'll see. Um, 
And then the <laughs> other conclusion is well, I I said a uh, lot of lot of things, a lo lot of ways that that you could make your your uh, your facets uh, indexable, but the strategy and the specific how uh, how you will go um, about that. Well, it should be checked by uh, your local SEO guru <laughs> and not uh, not not. Uh, not only based on this presentation, because every website is different, and um, for us we we will uh, we we will most of the time focus on uh, on one main uh, facet. But well, your your strategy could depend, and don't 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 mem no, don't take take my word for uh, for that. Uh, always check with your guru. Um, and yeah, L let me know if you try this stuff and. Uh, See you <laughs> in the issue queue, I, I guess. That's it. Uh. Okay, let's do more minutes. So there are more questions uh, online. Mm -hmm. If someone has a question, feel free to ask now. Yeah. Does anyone have questions? And also, you can find the slides uh, behind this link if you're interested. All right. I guess there is no questions. And maybe I'll go through the the regular <laughs> last slides, the contribution opportunities, what did you think, and the feedback. Ta-da!